Welcome, welcome back. Zoe Flowers here, back with another pick a card reading. And this one is all about what surprises are 2022 bringing your way. So we have three piles here, pile one, pile two, and pile three. Pile one is this beautiful root chakra candle. Pile number two is pure gold flakes. Hello, gold. And pile number three is solar plexus candle. So just take a moment to decide which pile resonates with you. Breathing in and out. And I'm going to play a couple of tones to clear out the energy so that you can make a clear decision. Okay, let's get started. Hey, pile number one. So if you pick the root chakra candle, this is your reading. So let's see what we have for you for 2022. What surprises are coming your way? So we have right off the bat, a new sense of pride is coming your way. You know, this butterfly here is giving me very much that, like coming out of your cocoon in a way. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. I just said coming out of your cocoon and here is mystery. Perhaps there's parts of yourself that you are still hiding that are a mystery, maybe even a mystery to yourself, pile number one. And so this new sense of pride that's coming in definitely has to do with stepping out of your comfort zone and embracing mysteries maybe embracing your spirituality i don't know let's see we have ghost in reverse and i literally just said embracing your spirituality but i feel like this is um the ghosts of your past falling away the ghosts of who you were, maybe by the end of the year, pile number one, you're not even going to recognize who you were because you have actually done some things. You've faced some things. And this new sense of pride is going to have you feeling quite good. Yeah, you faced some things. There's going to be some sort of change. There has to be a change in 2022. We've got this volatility here. Things being shooken up, so to speak. And then we have Chrysocolla here. Unconditional love. Cleansing coming for you in 2022. Known for cleansing the aura of toxins, Chrysocolla is a great crystal to use when experiencing high stress levels and burnout. The surface of Chrissy Cola resembles a pristine oceanic views and the an aerial vantage point helps you gain perspective on situations hitting too close to home. Take a step back when those situations arise and remember to prioritize your needs first. So some sort of surprise, some sort of volatility, some sort of shakeup in 2022 that is going to have you, perhaps the way you deal with it, is going to have you be like, wow, I have a lot of pride in myself. I didn't even know that I was capable of doing what I did. Maybe you're going to get a new job. 
you know, whatever it is, there's going to be some kind of shakeup for you. And so this is why we plan. We have squirrel medicine here. So squirrel medicine is all about like planning your next steps, you know, squiring away your resources so that when you represent yourself, you're representing yourself in the strongest way possible. And it's interesting that it's right under pride. So again, maybe it's like you're going, you've been going through some sort of interesting uh, transformation. Yeah. Wow. There we go. Shake up. Right? Something is ending. Something is ending. And that ending is going to make you feel prideful in yourself. And then we have green calcite here. Fertility, abundance, growth. Nature is calling. Green calcite attracts abundance. So we have this tower moment and this and this um, abundance right after it. So again, by the end of the year, you're going to be like, who that person? Who is he? Who is she? Who is they? Okay. And then we have the asphodel. And so this is about making decisions. This is about making decisions so that other people don't make them for you. And that is right under volatility. So 2022 is definitely, again, going to give you the opportunity to be a leader. My God. Oh, my God. I cannot make this up. And look at how similar the colors are. 2022 is going to provide you with the strength you need to make the decisions you need to make to shake up what you need to shake up. We started with pride. And then we have patience. All right. 2022 is going to bring you more patience. We know the squirrel is patient. The squirrel, you know, squires things away to take them out, to take them through the whole winter right so what you're building now what you're building now the decisions you're making now are going to bring you through many winters to come but there has to be some shake up and then we have the holly and this is a plant of peace and recentering so we have recentering, we have growth, we do have some volatility. You know, we do definitely have a shake up. And uh, but at the end we have more peace and pride and strength and patience. So congrats to you pile number 1 and I will see you next time. Okay, pile number two, if you pick the, ro um, the rose gold, what am I talking about? If you pick the gold flakes, this is your pile. So let's see what surprises are headed your way for 2022. All right, so right off the bat, we have the red jasper, and the red jasper is all about strength, justice, and stability. So if you were wanting more stability in your life, if that is something that you have been working towards, pile number two, you are going to have more stability in 2022. It says that red jasper works closely with the base chakra. So if you've been doing a lot of root chakra work and it heals any wounds surrounding injustice, grounding you back to earth. Red jasper alleviates chronic worry, clearing mental blockages to make space for balanced emotions and thoughts. Working with the base ch uh, chakra, red jasper can also help heal issues related to sex, inviting you to explore your sexuality in healthy ways. So if that's something you want to get into more, pile number two, 2022 is the year for you. Oh my God, I made a rhyme. Inviting you to explore your sexuality in healthy ways, providing stability and protection. Red jasper balances yin and yang, expressing masculine and feminine energies that feel safe yet nourished. So that is one of the, and maybe it's not a surprise, right? Because if it's something that you've been working on and been waiting for, <laughs> it's not really a surprise, right? Because you put effort and work toward it. So if that's something you've been working on, that is your first confirmation that 
you know, what you've been doing is working. And also, you know, gold is an old and, um, you know, when all else fails, right, the price of gold doesn't. So that right off the bat is showing a step towards not just luxury, um, but more stability. What else do we have here? So we have the 10 of cups. It was not in reverse. I kind of messed up the cards a little bit a minute ago. So um, we have the 10 of cups in reverse. So we know tens are the end of a cycle. So again, it's like if you have been working on clearing things away, the 10 of cups is here to say, good job, right? We see you, right? This is the, this is good emotions. This is feeling good about your family. So again, if you've been doing clearing, particularly around family issues, ancestral issues, you know, wounds of the family, 2022 is going to find you feeling good about your family, maybe uh, your family of origin, um, your ancestry, and maybe attracting a, a family of your own, if that's something that you've been wanting. We also have cave. So again, this again is just giving me deep ancestor vibes, right? Like going back and and doing that hard work, maybe, you know, going into your cave a bit to kind of go back to the drawing board. Maybe that's something, again, that you've been doing for the past five years, really figuring things out. And so, you know, again, more feeling safe, you know, family, stability. So feeling just overall more safe and more comfortable in your own skin. Oh my God, I just said more comfortable. Holy crap. I just said more comfortable in your own skin. And here comes comfort. Here comes comfort. So that is, you know, that's going to be a welcome addition to your year. And space, more space, more time. The Red Jasper talked about that, clearing out mental, clear, mental clutter and things like that so that you have more space for the things that you want to do. Now, for uh, um, some other folks, too, though, um, I don't feel like this is most folks, but if you've been in a cave. Huh. Interesting. OK, I'm getting a couple of different things. OK, so for some folks, it could be. You know, finding that relationship in 2022 and being comfortable and being in like your own little lover's nest in 2022 and then finding time to make space for other people. So that's another group of folks. And then the other folks, if you've been doing this work and you've been in your own sanctuary, loving your own space right? 2022 is going to ask you to come out and play, right? And not be all by yourself. Look at this, hope. Doing this work, doing this hard work, this root chakra work, this ancestor work, destroying things that, you know, have been holding you back, right? Those things falling away there still might be some work that needs to be done because anytime we see mountains we know that there's more work to do so there's still you know there's always going to be things to work on right there's always going to be parts of ourselves that we need to work on but now you have the space because maybe it's like you got that first really hard layer of gunk off right and and there's still some more stuff to uh be taken away and then we have speaking your truth. If you've been a person that's been afraid to speak your truth, that's been your comfort zone. Being shy, being quiet, that's been your sanctuary. Now it's time in 2022, you're going to have the opportunity to speak your truth. This could also be speaking publicly, telling your story. Being an inspiration, instilling hope into other people. Maybe you feel comfortable telling your story now. Maybe you have the mental and the emotional space to tell your story, to invite people in, to invite love in. Oh, I love this pile number two. And then we have the lily of the valley. The lily of the valley also is about not letting opportunities pass you by. 
It's about speaking your truth, letting people in. Wow, amazing. And then we have the unknown. So this actually was in reverse. And so this for me is, you know, things that were unknown to you, mysteries, maybe new healing abilities, if that's something you're into, maybe new artistic abilities coming to you from like out of space, so to speak, things that were unknown being illuminated to actually assist you. Yeah, maybe you have the space now to take up that new course that you wanted to do. I love this for you, pile number two. And then we have the beaver. So this also was in reverse. And so this is really about, you know, setting yourself apart in 2022. Having the ability to also build because beavers are known as builders. So when I see a card in reverse for me, that is, you know, stagnant energy, energy that's still yet to be um, manifested. So if there's something that you want to build, the energy is there for you to do so. But maybe also you haven't found your people yet. So that is something that is yet to be revealed for you, pile number two. So that is what I have for you. It's looking like a really good year. Your work paying off, new hope, possibly new love. Perhaps you feeling safe, comfortable, having the emotional and physical space that you haven't had in a long time. So we welcome all of those things. And please drop down in the comments and let me know if this resonates and I will see you next time. Bye. Okay, pile number three, if you picked the solar plexus candle, this is your pile. So let's go ahead and get started. So what surprises is 2021 bringing for you wow more courage what a beautiful butterfly also you know this butterfly in between these two poles is giving me very much high priestess vibes in the in the tarot in between the light and the dark in between the intuition and the material world and so I wonder if this 2022 is giving you the courage to really step into your spiritual practices and being a spiritual creature and really, you know, being that spiritualist. Let's see. So we have Citrine here which is creativity, happiness, manifestation. So we love Citrine. I carry Citrine in my wallet. And this might actually be a nice one for you to car uh, carry as well. It says a powerful and energizing stone. Citrine derives its warmth from the rays of the sun and shines positivity wherever it's needed. Like vitamin C for the soul, Citrine works its magic on both physical and emotional levels, transmuting negativity into light-filled vibes and positivity. A great stone for enhancing one's prosperity as well. Citrine magnifies your creativity to inspire manifestation, known as the light maker. It encourages fresh beginnings, new ideas, and living life to the fullest. Accept the abundance that is coming your way. Hello. You know, hmm. again, the courage to be a light worker, the courage to accept your abundance. Maybe you come from a family or a lineage where things like abundance are looked down upon or it just wasn't accessible. So it was something that you didn't feel was accessible to you. Well, it's coming in 2022. And listen. Listen, when we grow, when we make certain moves, there are people 
that don't necessarily like it. Okay, so, you know, the swords is all about ideas. So here's the thing. There are some folks that may be hating on you in 2022. And that comes as quite a surprise. That comes as quite a shock. It comes as quite a shake up. But you are going to have the courage to get through it. Okay, because you just understand that this is part of the process. Now, here's the other thing for another group of you, you know, because again, swords are ideas, right? And so those swords that are on the ground, those could be your old ideas about yourself right falling away and that could be a surprise to you too right the things that you felt that you don't need any more all right so it could go either way i think though for the bulk of folks it is going to be like hateration and holleration in the dancery okay oh my god i just said dancery Holy crap. I literally just said hateration and holler. And I don't look at these cards beforehand. Okay. I just want to say that. So 2022 is going to bring you some dancing. Okay. All up in the dancery. And look, they are looking that way. Okay. They're, they're looking in that direction because they're hating and you're looking in a whole nother direction. And so this is how you need to go through 2022, right? Just looking in a whole nother direction, not even paying attention to the hateration and the holleration. My God, not even paying attention to the hateration and the holleration because you've got something to dance about. You've got something to be happy about. You are dancing towards your happiness. Holy crap. And creativity. Okay, so if you have a creative project, you need to have the courage to put it out into the world. You have the citrine here, which also talked about creativity. All right. 2022 is the year to have the courage to put your creative projects out into the world. Okay. Don't worry about rejection. There might be some we already know because we have this here, right? But we have the rejection sitting under the citrine. So our abundance is going to happen. It's going to come. But again, you know, what can I say? What can I say, right? It's, it's not all diamonds and rosé, okay? You are the sovereign being. So this was in reverse. So whenever there's a card in reverse, that means that there's an energy that feels um, it's stagnant. It's ready to come out. It's just not coming out yet. Oof, look at the way that light. This is why I love this deck. Look at the way that light is hitting that deck. I mean, hitting this card. Um, but you are sovereign. All right. So even if you feel rejected, even and see it's sitting under this right it's sitting under this five of swords so perhaps something is going to happen in the year and it's going to make you feel like you're not sovereign but you are okay we started out the deck with courage okay so don't get discouraged all right just ask your body what is best Wow, and you have Ask Body under Dance and Celebration. Holy smokes. So you want to spend some time with the body, right? Spend some time with the body. Dancing, right? Moving the body in 2022. We have another sword here. I don't know what this crocus is. I'm going to have to look because this is a, a brand new deck, right? So let's see, but it is sitting under happiness. So that's cool. That's the dust. I need the dawn, 38. Like the stubborn crocus that endures the thickest frost to bloom you've always managed to find that part of you that is strong and unmoving when times have been tough this part of you is a valuable ally try reaching for it even when you don't need it 
Become familiar with it and employ its determination in your everyday life. It will only benefit you. With this strength in hand, you can achieve anything. And it's sitting right under happiness. Look at that. Sitting right under happiness. Both of these are red. So perhaps there's some root chakra work that you want to do this year. Perhaps you've already been doing some root chakra work to, you know, strengthen your belief in yourself and the fact that you have a right to be on the planet because that's what the root chakra is all about. Ask your body if that's what it wants. Okay. I was just reading um, this thing here. So we have chills here. So 2022, again, we had that five of swords. We have that sovereign being. And so this is like freezing out. I love that she has this crown. And it's like. The crocus talked about pulling out your determination when you need it. And this, to me, is like freezing out the hateration and the holleration coming your way. Not pretending that, you know, critique isn't a bad thing. Critique is a good thing. And so it's like, Knowing when to turn off the outside world and when to let people in. And that is what 2022 is going to bring you. You know, that is a part of the human experience. Knowing what to let in, knowing what to keep out. Yeah, that's what I have to say about that. And then we have telling stories. What words so tender can be spoken so bravely unless they are true from the truest of words? I don't always understand this, um, the like poems that go along with these cards. But I do like this telling stories. And I think pile number two also had, oh, pile number two, I think had speak your truth. And this has telling your stories, telling stories. And so I don't know, again, this makes me feel like a creative project. If you are a writer, having the opportunity to publish Speaking, telling people your story, telling other people's stories. 2022 will afford you the opportunity to do that. Holy smokes. And this was the solar plexus chakra. And this has to do with putting your dreams into the world and your goals and to... You know, strengthening this solar plexus gives you like the determination to accomplish your goals and put your ideas out into the world. And so doing some solar plexus work also, I think would be very, very helpful for you, pile number three. And so that is what I have for y'all. And I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.